I need a water bath but the price of these water baths is way above what my budget will allow so as needs must I need a do-it-yourself water bath well it's actually a lot easier than I thought what I've got is one of these really useful boxes it's nine litres I've got a test tube rack and in many shops you can now buy one of these things a sous vide and it does exactly what I need but this costs anything from around about £50 up to about £110, £120 all I need to do is clamp this on the side and then let's fill this up with some water. I need to put enough water in here so that we're just going to cover the minimum level of this sous vide and that's going to be just above my top of my test tube rack. Now I'm actually filling this with hot water because time makes it easier to try and sort of do things if you can put some hot water and get the temperature approximately right. So let's fill this up to an appropriate level and let's put some cold in. And we can take this up so, as it says here, the minimum level. So I've got the minimum level here, just about reaching that. And I want to go over a little bit more because what I'm trying to achieve is enough water to cover my test tubes. So there's the water, it's tepid at the moment. And now let's switch on this sous vide. So I plug it in and we'll switch on. I'm going to set the temperature here to 37. I'm going to set my timer to 45 minutes. Or not. There we are. I switch on, the pump comes on, and we've got water being circulated round. It tells me the water temperature at the moment is 32.5, 32.9, 33, and very quickly we'll get the temperature up to. 37 that I want to do to perform my experiment. It's very quick, it's very cheap compared with water baths and it does have the bonus that if I want to after my water bath I can also make myself some nice dinner. What we can see is the ripples in the, the water I move behind this one we've got that looking good all the technology that we want is supplied by this little device and at 50 pounds it represents a much cheaper water bath so this water bath has cost me 50 pounds for the sous vide we've paid out about seven pounds for the box and I've got a couple of pounds for in fact this was a free giveaway an old test tube rack and there I can stand my test tubes in there at whatever temperature I set on this this is accurate to half a degree although it reads accurate to 
0.1 of a degree. It will keep the temperature within half a degree, which is better than most water bars that I ever grew up using. It's cheap, it works, and the only drawback with this is if I want the water very hot, and this will go up to 95 centigrade, then this box isn't any good. But I do have a cheat. I've actually got a stock pot, and it works. The temperature's reached 40 degrees, which is the temperature of my water, and now the timer will start and keep this water bath at this temperature for 45 minutes, the length of my experiment. And then all I need to do is to switch this off, empty the water out, and this box then is a good way of actually storing the sous vide and all the other bits and pieces I need to do any experiments. When the experiment's complete, things couldn't be simpler. All I need to do is to switch off the sous vide or unplug it and then simply remove the water. It's only been standing in water so there's nothing exciting in there to clean. If we do need to clean it then I can just rotate this, pull it off and give it a good wipe down before putting back Here is the inside of a sous vide. You can see it's got a heating element, a digital thermometer and a simple impeller to move the water around. So we can empty our test tubes, remove the test tube rack empty the water and it all goes back in the case. So packing away couldn't be simpler. All I need to do is to dry this casing. Get rid of the excess water. Try the sous vide, dry the inside of my really useful box, and let's just put this away. hardest part of this seems to be lining this up and putting it in. And there and there we have my simple water bath which goes away with all my other boxes.